Hello everybody and welcome back to Factoria once again. So in today's episode we are going to be building more accumulators, as you can see I already have some queuing up down there. Uh, expanding the electrical grid up north. Um, and... I don't know, probably a couple other things too. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what yet. Uh, we aren't going to set up blue research in this episode because that is too much work for, to do for this one episode. But we may go ahead and make some blue research just like in our inventories to be able to get like this especially because that's a big thing so we may go ahead and make some blue research manually but first we need plastic and that involves more stuff with chemicals so we'll set up plastic production expand the electrical grid and put down some accumulators put down some accumulators in this episode so I think that that's our plan. I think that's what we're going to do. So uh, let's get to it. First things first. Plastic. So if we take one of these here. Chemical plants, right? And you put it down. You can see plastic requires coal and petroleum gas. Well, neither of those are too hard to get. So let's just go ahead and do it. Now, as... Oh, that's the iron plates. The other one is the coal. Now, as you can see right here, oh, hey, look at how convenient. There's a bunch of coal right there. Unfortunately, we have no plates. Er, no belts, I mean. So, we're going to sprinkle a couple of those in. We need about 20 more accumulators. But while all those belts are crafting up, just to keep busy, let's uh, go ahead and throw down some accumulators. Ignore that banging. I think my dad is chopping up something. Maybe. I promise I'm not killing anybody. Maybe. Uh, I mean, what? Hmm? I didn't say anything. Alright, so now I have some accumulators. And as you can see, look, there's... Well, they don't have any energy stored right now. But they will be storing energy in the future. And that's what matters. Also, as we can see, this is the last boiler running right here. And, uh, it'll have fuel for a while, so we don't really have to worry about it, but... All these are completely out, apparently. So... Let's also place down some of these. Now, we're gonna put the expansions... Over here. We're going to do that in much space. Alright. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Wrong way. That one's a little bit off. All of these are... Gosh, I'm so bad at placing things. Alright. And we'll do one more row just for fun. Of course, actually, it's just because we have enough to do another row, so... That's actually why. How many more do we have? Just the ten. Okay. So after this, we won't have any more, but... How many rows is that? No, we aren't going to do rows of 11. Why is everyone deciding to do everything loud at this exact moment? Jesus, who's mowing? It is it is 7 o'clock. Why is someone mowing? What the, what the heck, man? People mow at 7 o'clock? Why? Not a.m., p.m. 7 p.m. Who's mowing? I couldn't tell you. I have uh, zero idea of who any of my neighbors are, actually. But, you know. Uh-oh, here it comes again. Alright, so after I finish building this, I'm going to pause the recording for a little while until they're done mowing at, you know, 7 o'clock. I 
gotta get some more of these. I hope their mower breaks. You dare disturb my recording session? Your mowing is cursed to an eternity of pain and suffering. Anywho. So we're just gonna throw a number on it and say we need one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. One more. I miscounted. I'll throw that right there. So now all these accumulators are connected, and now if we check, we should see. Look. Why are you not storing energy? What? Store energy. That's your one purpose in life. You're supposed to store energy. Okay, they're not storing energy, but whatever. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. What really matters is the fact that we... Why is everyone being so loud suddenly? Is the fact that these are done. So we can root our coal upwards. Okay, and more of those. I don't even remember how many we need. We'll just say 30. I'm, I've lost track. It is so loud. Alright, uh, I'm going to pause the recording, like I said, until all the noise is done. So, I will see you momentarily. Uh-oh, looks like the recording isn't paused. Okay. Hello everybody, I'm back, and uh, as you probably immediately see, right over here there is a, um, I set up accumulators, so now this place will have some electricity stored up, and if we head all the way down here, I uh, set up, or I was setting up plastic production, but then I realized that oil wasn't getting produced overnight, because, of course, it didn't have electricity at night because there were no accumulators. So I took some accumulators up there, put them down. So now this should have um, electricity at night, which is the entire purpose or the entire reason I wanted to put accumulators up there. I also, <coughs> excuse me, I also put a bunch of accumulators up here down the middle. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have plenty of electricity production, uh, everything's going great. Everything's going dandily, and we're gonna remove this. Now that shows you either that I'm stupid or I'm really confident, and I'm not even sure which I am, in total honesty, so, I don't know, I guess we'll see if it works out. Get out of here. Alright, um, I do actually need to check. Do you have any stone? Whoa, you have a ton of stone. You're out of fuel, though. Still a ton of stone bricks. Okay. It's quite an annoying sound opening and closing chests, isn't it? You know, it's weird how you just, like, naturally pick up resources over time. Like, I got this stone purposefully, but I have wood, coal, iron. I don't remember how I got any of this stuff. It's like it just keeps showing up in my inventory over time. Of course, that's not actually what's happening, but it's what it feels like. So, waiting for an arm to get made. So, uh... I can... I'm gonna need a couple of those too. So I can get all the plastic, and I wanted plastic so I could make the blue science. Because we're gonna be manually making that for right now. Uh, we'll start... Um, we'll set up a production line for blue science soon. It's just not something I'm interested in doing as of right now. But... That's coming, probably in either the next episode or the episode after that, so. 
Don't be sad that we're not doing it right now, because we will be very soon. Need a bunch of sulfur and plastic. So you take some sulfur. And you take some plastic. And now we have a bunch of that stuff. So, that's cool. But as you can see, we have literally none left that just require red and green science. They all either require red, green, and gray, or red, green, and blue. So, hence why we need blue science very soon. Which we will be getting very soon, so... Do not fret. What happened over here? What? Did I get attacked at some point? Okay, well... Alright, and... Oh, hey, look, just enough. But you... You don't have just enough. Alright, and there we go. That's all back to normal. Looks like we're kind of running kind of low on the coal department. So, uh, let's go check out if anything's going on, or if we're just using more than we were before. Looks like we were just using more than we were before. Actually, wait, no, there's something. There's something wrong. It stopped somewhere. I never put it back. That belt should be full of coal, but I simply never, never attached it. Never put another splitter there. So we're going to take some of this here copper, some of these here copper plates, and make some more splitters. And there goes my dog, once again, for the thousandth time. Alright, looks like she stopped. I must have realized who it was. I swear, the one day my house is actually getting broken into is the one day that she'll be like, Oh, I'm sure it's nothing, and then not bark and warn us. Because that seems like something she would do. And person super loud car. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. And all the disruptions during this entire episode. It's just, uh... Today has just been something for me. It's, it's one of those days where... It feels like nothing makes sense and you keep questioning why certain things are happening and, uh... It overall just kind of sucks, but... Oh well. We all have those days from time to time, so... This chest gets full so fast. Like, look at all that. I imagine this one, yeah, it has quite a few as well. This is, like, the best one of these that I've made. So far. Like, in all the time that I've played this game. That one, I would say, is the best. Out of every single one, ever. This is probably my best factory, honestly. Not my probably most developed factory, though. Because I have a world that I put like 50 hours into. It's insane. And I can make six. Wow. That is so cool. It's all about the plastic. I have hardly any plastic. And I don't have enough petroleum gas to go around for everyone. So, because there's just not enough oil. I'll have to go scout out for some more, like a big patch or something, but as of right now, we don't really have enough. Alright, well, 
We'll do one final thing to wrap up the episode. And I think that'll be putting down a furnace over here, because apparently it doesn't have one. Of course, though, one time we need one, we don't have one. And now you will come. Alright, there we go. So if we throw this... Stop moving. Alright, so if we throw this down here... Actually, we are going to do one other thing. Because... I think it'll be useful for us in the future. So... We are going to get that, which requires 60 plastic. So let's go get our 60 plastic, if there is 60 plastic. Which I somewhat doubt there will be. Yeah, there, we only have 38 on us. And there's zero in there, so... We're just not making enough petroleum by any stretch of the imagination. We are going to cut off petroleum flow from that other pipe and bring it directly over here for now. Just to try to get some production because... Yeah, we do not have enough plastic. And just like that, we're out, of course. So, right now, our uh, accumulators on the main grid are producing all the electricity we need, and as you can see, all of our solar panels are going down, because it's not daytime anymore, but the accumulators are keeping up the slack, so... Now, the issue is we have to make sure that these hold energy for long enough. So if they start dying halfway through the night, then that's a pretty big issue. Because that means we won't have energy energy for all the way through the night, and that's bad because we need energy for all the way through the night. So, But we only have 34 of these on the main power grid and 119 solar panels, and these hold half as much as the solar panels produce and we have a lot more solar panels than we need, by about four times the amount. So 120 divided by four, oh, look at that, it's 30. So we have about the perfect amount, and we shouldn't really have to worry about it all that much as of right now, which is very good. Now hopefully we'll get some petroleum flowing. Okay, I'm just gonna blink on a couple times, I guess. Did y'all see that? came purple for like two milliseconds blinked on and off hey hey can I have some more no okay well come on we just need eight more stop blinking just give me all the give me give me Alright, whatever. We're cutting everything off from the petroleum gas except for the plastic. And there's still barely enough. Okay, yay. We're all... So Why does everything require plastic? Personal battery. You all need plastic, of course. Those suck, by the way. But I... The thing is, the more you put of, like, a certain item, the more, uh, effectivity that it has. So I'm thinking if I put a bunch of those, then it'll work a lot better. So right now we're on the course to making four. Let's make five. I'm not even sure if five will fit, but I guess we'll see. But yeah, you can customize the additions that you have to your armor in this game, which is a really cool feature that I think is very useful. Man, whoever thought we would reach this point from our tiny little itsy bitsy factory at the beginning? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. By the way, we're gonna probably need like a hun hun 
<clears throat> like 125 of those. Maybe less, though. If we're lucky, it'll be less, because those are pretty resource-intensive. The uh, blue science, that is. This is just like infinite iron plates. That's having a little bit more work catching up, but... We just aren't using that many iron plates. Like, all of our production lines are essentially backed up, but that's a good thing because that means they all have the resources they need for quite a long time. This doesn't even need to be here. Alright. I'm gonna pause until this gets done producing, but I will see you in just a moment. Hello, everybody. I've returned for the end of the episode, and uh, we have all our stuff made up, so let's put it in. So, you left-click on your armor, and then you select the items you have. So, one portable solar panel. the One portable solar panel. One personal battery. And six belt immunity things. So, I think that means that if we go over here and like stand on this, we're supposed to not move, right? But I think the issue is we don't we don't seem to have any. any power like it's not producing anything nothing is being produced even though we have our portable solar panel and our personal battery uh, why is so difficult hmm Alright, well, whatever. We'll figure it out at some point. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas on how that's supposed to work. But, uh, I think that's gonna end us off here. So... This is, this is where, this is, like, all the view screens, by the way. So... Hmm. Alright, well... I thank you all very, very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!